Hello everyone and welcome back to the Europa 2 Goodbye Despair where we're investigating Nagato's murder. We can't see his body here though because he's in the back there of the warehouse. And last episode we checked everything out, talked with everyone and thought, yeah we're just gonna leave the warehouse now and then it were like, no, you have a totally different area here to check. Of oh yeah, the Monokuma panels. Hmm, there are a lot of tipped over Monokuma panels. Oh, she made a domino with them there to catch the fire there. I see. The panels near the curtain on the back, in the back, is tipped over and burned. Did the fire do that? But why are they scattered like this? The last time I came here, I seem to recall. They being at that site, lying down. They should have been neatly put away. Hmm. Maybe we're the ones who made this mess. Huh? Look, the tipped over panel by the entrance is really close to the door, right? So, maybe the reason these panels are tipped over is... Because we opened the door too much. It's fine, I live in it slowly. No, that's not a problem! Seriously, it's really fine. With, a, with those words, I can brush off everyone's warning and slowly open the door to the warehouse. Clatter, clatter, clatter! Uh, it's not opening! Is there something blocking the door? I can barely open it! Whoa, no, it's a trap! Seriously, you stopped, okay? Didn't I tell you it'd be fine? I just get to use a little more first. Hey, what happened? Nobody slowly, son of a bitch! I can ignore the protest, and with a mighty kick, the door flew open. BAM! BAM BAM! That's a very lovable character we all forgotten about, right? Could it be? Was that it? And yeah. um, there's something else I've been wondering. Hey, hey. These Monokuma panels are tipped over, starting from the entrance to the back of the warehouse, right? They seem to be lying on top of each other, in a straight line. Right? Yeah, compared to the other tipped over panels, that line is the only one that's neat and orderly. So... Isn't this clearly strange? No, because the killer made their way so we would all there be gathered and then activate the trap to cause the fire so he would suffocate. Even though he was probably stabbed and all that early, he suffocated there then from the fire. At? 12 noon, 12 o'clock noon, which was when we opened the door and the fire started going and all that. Strange, that means we can speculate this was done intentionally. And also that's the real reason why Monokuma had to mention that like, don't go into the warehouse, there are poisonous gas and all that. Because, well, otherwise we might not know if the play would be like, well, but it wasn't bird, I can't hit the fire up killing, that doesn't make any sense because you're stupid and doesn't know about that you mostly suffocate before of it before you get burned. Just unintentionally, yeah. Monokuma panels. What's this about the radio also? MP3 player, okay, an MP3 player. Hmm. This is an MP3 player. There's even a speaker plunged, plunged into it. But why is this here? Ah, for the music. Whoa, it looks like that weird music we're playing from there. You know, that music was blaring when the first fire started. Yeah, you're right. Probably to cover any sound he probably could have made. Whoa, looks like faster from getting drenched by sprinkler. But no mistake that the music we're playing from that MP3 player. I don't disagree with that, but... Why was the pl killer playing music from this? So Nagato wouldn't be able to make too much sound. And warn people about the fire or something, yeah? Anything else in- Oh! What's this to the side there? Tons of CDs! Hmm. All these CDs, they all copies of Monokuma's music! They should be, should have been burned too. Oh, okay. So otherwise, yeah. That's only the- oh. Ooh, what's this? Tons of books! There are a bunch of books stacked on top of each other. Apparently they contain Monokuma's poetry and photos. 
the sprinkly completely soaked them. I can't even turn the pages anymore. Well, it's not like I'm missing much. Are you sure? Sure. He might have been a good poet. And what? What is it like? It's inverted going from side to side here. Huh. Strange. Okay, Akane, do you have anything useful um. to say? It mattered for Ganem's killing and for Mikael's, hey. but it looked like the time doesn't matter this time. It was clearly written in the Monokuma file that the estimated time of that is noon sharp. Yeah, I know, Akane, you try to give me the hint that. No, it totally matters even though we got the exact timing. It's just the cause of that. That's matter even more. Like. But we all split up for noon to sit for the bun, which means. No one has an alibi. Yeah, that's the problem. Except we all have alibi because when it he died, we were all standing together. Looks like Sonia is focused on investigating the warehouse, trying to search for any not obvious evidence that she can remove so she won't be in danger. Which remind me, there's something I need to ask her about. Now that we pretty much finished investigating Nagato's body, I think it's time to talk to her. Hey Sonia, do you have a minute? Oh, yes, what is it? I want to talk to you about when the fake bomb Nagato set in the warehouse exploded. Huh? Huh? Right before it exploded, you said something like this, right? It is all right, it is not a bomb. Hmm. Why do you know the bomb were, were a fake? Um. Oh, well. That's not all either, when we were looking for the bombs. Why were you at the military base? I thought you were supposed to be searching the central island. Plus, when I called for you, you didn't come to the factory right away. Where were you? And what were you doing during that time? Oh my! Oh, oh my! I do, you, do you suspect me? I'm gonna play the very, very innocent girl princess now, like I always do. It is a misunderstanding. I'm not the killer. Jesus, shit, you son of a bitch! Sonia? I am sorry! Oh, I'm terribly sorry! I was panicking! Um. I shall calm down and explain to you why I was at the military base. When I first explored the final island, I discovered a vast amount of bombs there. Huh? Well? At first I was worried that someone might use them for a nefarious reason if I announced them to everyone. So I kept silence the whole time. Does that mean when you heard Nagato planted bombs you got suspicious and went to investigate them. That is... And as I suspected, the bombs had disappeared. I truly searched for them inside the military base, but the bombs were nowhere to be found. <laughs> and because you were searching for them, you were late when all we all gathered. But why didn't you search for them when we first... You waited two days until like, right before noon and then you're like, Alright, I should maybe check out if the bombs are actually gone. Really? And you want me to believe that? Oh, and because of that, I reached a conclusion. The bombs Nagato brought were from the military base, which means they were fake bombs. How did you find out the bombs at the Miller Bear military base were fake? Because I attempted to use one of them. What? I see, I see. I thought one of the bombs would be strong enough to blast open the door at the ancient ruins. Um. At the time, I still believed the bombs were real. And I thought that I could use one of them to gain entrance to the ancient ruins. What? Why is Monomi there? Can we mention Monomi there? We need to talk with her, maybe. Yeah. So that's why you're the only one who knew the bombs at the military base were fake. I did. As did Monami as well. She was also secretly peeking at the bomb. Which means... And Nagito probably because he said something there about what he learned. Yeah. Oh, if those bombs are the same ones that disappeared, it would mean Nagito took them. That is why I knew it was fake. However, I did think it was strange when Nagato blew up the hotel lobby. <laughs> Boom. That bomb was real. I could not stop thinking about it. But upon further reflection, that might have been Nagato's plan all along. 
be shown as a real bomb to make us believe that the bombs he set were real as well. <laughs> if so, then Nagato's actions were extremely calculated. But the problem is, his reason for doing it. Um, but this I have explained everything. <laughs> there should be no more reason for you to doubt me. Except that I waited two days to actually check the bombs, not doing it directly after to see if the bombs were still there. I mean, maybe half the day there until then the morning when he started talking with us again, saying we should go look, and gave us a hint about that. Then maybe I could have done it first, because maybe I was confused from the explosion, but otherwise, why did I wait? You have no damn explanation for that. Okay? You're right, I got it. You know, you should be careful you doesn't set another fire here in the warehouse. Oh wait, you don't have wear pants. Sorry. No problem them, I guess. Alright, I pretty much finished looking for clues inside the warehouse. I was able to find some clues, but there are still so many things I don't understand yet. You look worried. Yeah, I, I am! No! Well? At a time like this, it might be good if you brought them. Your investigation range. You mean, it's good to investigate other places as well? She might be right, there are several things I've been wondering about beside the crime scene. The military base that Sonia mentioned, the plushy factory next door, the Sumi castle where the spear originally came from, and Nagato's room too. If I'm going to understand the reason for his action, I need to know more about him. I'm pretty sure the others have already finished investigating. But I wanted to talk with you again! And the other two! Hey, you guys, isn't it about time we leave this place and try exploring other areas too? In response to Shaki, the other gathered around her. I see. Oh, I agree. I was just thinking about proceeding to another area. It seems we had the same idea. Yeah, but is it safe? There won't be anyone to go to the crime scene, yeah? Yep. We don't have a choice. There just aren't enough of us. Besides, we in we investigated all we can here. Uh. Whoa, I guess you're wrong. See? Also, it looks like the clues we found aren't enough to piece this incident together. So, we need to search for them in other areas, probably. Mm. Well, alternatively, if there aren't any clues in other areas either, we have to give up completely. You don't really need to say that. Hey, hey. Then it's a cave we leave this place. It's okay! But yeah, also another reason for Sonia except her being the traitor that I thought for long. For some time there she wanted to get into the Future Foundation's building. He destroyed the code. At least she thinks that, that he scratched it out. And we're like, TELL ME IT! TELL ME THE CODE! Like that, trying to figure it out to get inside there. Because she even tried to blow it up except that we had checked before. She wanted the code, that's why she tortured him trying to be like... There, and when she got it, maybe, then she left him there, to then suffocate to death at noon to make the plan complete so they wouldn't suspect her. There's no time for us to stand around. In order to survive, there's no other way except to do it. In order to survive, we need to find Nagato's killer. If we don't sacrifice that person, nobody can survive. That's a reality. That's why there's no time for us to stand around. Okay, we need to check the factory also, he said, so sure. What can we learn inside here? Truck, anything here? Apparently the bombs that were stuffed on this truck were actually fireworks. Which reminds me, this truck looks like it came from the military base. Nagato must have brought it from there. Other than that, there's nothing in particular that catches my eye. Can we... No, that's still part of the truck, apparently. I want... Oh! Hi, Sonia, trying to wipe up some evidence. My. Oh, I've 
never seen so many Monokumas in my life, huh? Well, Monokuma isn't exactly someone you would normally run into. However, ah, while I was staring at this Monokuma, a thought occurred to me. Hmm. Well? The bomb that went off the lobby might have been set up here. Huh? Do you have a minute? If you hide the bomb inside a Monokuma plushie, it will make a frightening weapon. Hmm. Do you not think the group that is forced us to kill each other would advise something like that? Amazing. A plushy bomb is an act of terrorism. All right. Let us rip this apart right away so we can confirm it. Oh, hold on. If there was a bomb inside this, wouldn't it explode if we carelessly messed with it? By the way, it is all gravy. All gravy? What the hell does that mean? I mean, have you never heard all gravy before? There's no bomb. Hey, I'll know if you pick me up, see? All you'll feel is the soft weight of cotton. Oh, you're right. Then, where did Nugget to obtain the bomb he used? I wonder. Well, if you don't tell us, we're gonna rip apart all these Monokuma life-sized plushies trying to find it. If I gonna give you guys a hint, then you should know it wasn't from the military base. To tell you the truth, the bombs there are all fake. Please wait. Oh, I know that already. You should have said so earlier. No. Well, I thought I'd keep quiet. If I kept quiet, it would foreshadow that a killing was gonna happen. That's why I'm just not now telling you for the first time. Phew, I feel relieved. But if the bomb wasn't from the military base or this factory, then he brought it from the octagon? Ah, uh, I must say, I have a good eye there, Sonia. <laughs> Putting a bomb inside one of my plushies seems like a splendid idea. Yeah. Ah, let's try it out. Oh, but I say something I should not have said. It's not your fault, don't worry about it. Monokuma's account. Laptop, anything else on here and in another video? If I was killed, I just wanna tell you, it was Sonia. That reminds me, when we saw Nagato's video message on the laptop. Is he still watching us from somewhere? If it's not, then how did he time his message so perfectly? Well, now it looks like the video was set to play after the explosion by wireless signal from the detonator, yeah? But why did he have to use a video message? That's the world I don't care. Because he expected himself to be attacked and killed, that's why. He risked his life on the line. He didn't say he would risk his line in the explosion. At the time, Nagato should have already been killed, which means the video was recorded in advance. That's right, beside the video, there might be data on this laptop that could be used as a clue. With that thought in mind, I tried messing around with the laptop, but Sonia had already cleared it. It's no use, it's locked. There's no way I can examine this. But if it's locked, then maybe there really is something inside. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Don't trust her. The life size Monokuma plushies are crammed inside an enormous basket. But it looks like there are any clues here. Yeah. Also there, do you want another proof it was her? Well, we're gonna go to the break room now. Where someone told us to go get the fire grenades filled with gasoline, or whatever else they were filled with, but they weren't whatever fire chemical, fire extinguished chemical because the fire got worse and worse as we threw them on. We were throwing gas on the fire, oil on fire. The break room is on the other side of this door. This is where we obtained the fire grenades. Anything inside? Hmm. There's nothing on the floor that looks like a clue, not even trash. What? 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 Sadime. Really? Oh, malfunctioning equipment. Oh, sure. There's an enormous machine, but it's stopped for now. Look like there's nothing related to the incident here. Oh, I guess so. Then let's leave the area. Find somewhere else to go. Where should we go now? I guess the military base where the fireworks were obtained. That seems like the correct place. Right? I think so, at least. So let's go.